Hello, what do you think of that then? Not bad, is it? A bit dusty. Of course it is. Um, this is Rachel's brushless Team C Jekyll. It's had an entire recondition, rebuild. I've serviced the shocks, I've serviced the gearbox, I've serviced the diff, I've refilled it with nice new grease, not oil because the diff and the gearbox aren't fully sealed. Uh, it's got a full new bearing kit, it's got new wheels and tyres, it's got a new body shell and a new wing, and it's got a new brushless system and a new radio gear and a new servo. It's, 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 it's all good really. Um, this is Tamiya PS35 Blue Violet with PS1 White backing it and there's a PS1 White wing. Um, Rachel did the body shell. First time she's ever done an RC body shell. Um, she, I think I, I washed it. I, I did the washing of it in the, in the first place and then she masked it off with a uh, liquid mask with a paintbrush uh, because we didn't have any masking window masks at all. So um, she did it by hand. I knew she'd be good at that though because she's good at art, etc. Um, so she did all that and then I talked her through how to paint it and she did the blue first, obviously. There we go. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> there were a few runs. There was a. She started. I said to her, "You need to do super, 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 super light coats at the start. And once there's a couple of coats on, you can go slightly heavier. But I still meant light. Because you always keep it with light coats. But she went a bit overboard, and there were some runs. But thankfully, they are basically all but hidden. I can't really notice it anymore. I think she put a sticker over it anyway. But um. That was fine. The worst one was on the was on the spoiler actually, the white in here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, probably not, but it was a big thick line of white paint that was all running down there. Again, she covered it with a sticker. Um, she's gone for a asymmetrical look. I quite like an asymmetrical race car. Uh, sometimes I like a symmetrical one, sometimes I like the asymmetrical one. She just basically picked stickers that she liked that would stand out against the uh, the body shell. So none, none of these are particularly relevant. There's no hobby wing, there's no pro line. Uh, nothing was from Asia Thieves, although we did get stuff from Motorsport. Um, obviously, you've got to represent RCing around in Tame Models as well. So, yeah. Um, she likes the little guy from the IMS UK forum. She's not even a member of the IMS UK forum, but she stuck him everywhere. Even on her transmitter, she thought he was cute. <laughs> so, um, overall, she's done a pretty good job, I think. She's not done too badly at all. I have to apologise to Shark Fat Custom RCs because this body shell is not worthy. The paint job on this body shell is not worthy of his name. But I'm sure you I'm sure you won't mind. It's free advertising. He does a fantastic airbrushing service. Um, I would never ever make a body shell that looked like this. So um, yeah, but overall, I think the aesthetic looks fine. One question mark is uh, the Ghoul RC speed controller, which I'm running it's on this side. Very tall with the fan on it. I couldn't get the body shell down. I could. I mean, I could put it on, but it'd be all squint. So on this first run, I've run it without the fan. I've, I've unbolted the fan from the heatsink. Um, I'll just have to keep an eye on temperatures. If it gets too hot, I'll just have to run it with the fan and a squint body shell. But for the first run, I don't think it'll matter to do a few passes as it looks like this, because it looks a lot better. And the only sticker she's got that says Team C's on the back there. Um, oh, apart from the ham-fisted paint, you know, with the runs here and the runs here, one thing she was a bit ham-fisted with is I told her to use a craft nice to a craft knife to cut off the window mask, the liquid mask, and she thought it would be a lot harder than it was. And you can see a big score down the center of the windscreen here because she just went, eh, with this craft knife. I went, no, I meant small incision and lift it. I didn't mean cut it out. But anyway, fine learning experience. She's done not too bad a job overall. You can't notice the runs or the, or the scratch while it's driving around. Probably, I've not tried it yet, but you know, at a distance. So fine, hopefully you guys like it. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so I was going to take the buggy out and give it its inaugural run as a brushless racing machine, but it started peeing rain. So, yeah, that pays to that idea. So, um, in the meantime, I don't know. Amir's leg? <laughs>